Welcome sa sipnahin.com Ang yung araw, pag-aaralan natin yung law of exponent number 1 na dinerive natin sa previous post. Ang gagawin natin dito ngayon is gagamitin natin itong law na to to uh, make some or to calculate some uh, multiplication expressions. Ano? So, first example. Um, by the way, bago tayo mag-start, kung mapapansin nyo, dapat nag-add kayo ng exponent pag pareho lang yung base. Ano? So, ang base niyo ay x, then uh, exponent m and n, x to the m times x to the n is equal to x to the m plus n. So, kung hindi pareho yung base, hindi tayo pwede mag-add ng exponent. Ano? So, let's have our first example. So, uh, x to the fourth times x squared. Kung madali lang ito, ano? siyempre i-add mo lang kasi dito nga x to the 4th plus 2 is equal to x to the 6. Ito yung answer natin. Ano? Final answer. Tago ko muna ito para hindi magulo. Okay, next. Number 2. Sorry. Okay, number 2. What is 2a b cubed times 3b square. So, dito walang number, dito meron. Okay? Pag walang number, 1 yan, ibig sabihin 1, yung numerical coefficient niya. So, dito 2, at saka 3, ano? So, magiging 2 times 3 muna, 6. Multiplication tayo, syempre, multiply natin lahat ng numbers. And then, A, wala siyang kasama, just copy. And then, b cubed times b squared, Ina-add natin para yung base. And then, the, right, the final answer is 6AB to the fifth. Okay? So, napakadali lang, di ba? Final answer. Lagyan natin ang red. Number three. What is um, negative 2P to the sixth times 3P times... 4p to the negative 1. O, pag may number, unahin mo na lahat ng number. So, negative 2 times 3 times 4. Magiging ilan yan? 6 ito at 4. 24, negative. Okay? And then, p to the 6. And then, meron kang 1 dito, plus 1. And then, minus 1. So, magiging negative 24 Mawawala ito, di ba? 1 minus 1 is 0, so P raised to the 6. Ito yung sagot natin. Okay, number 4. What is negative 2M cubed times uh, 6MN times 5 n to the 4th. Okay? Again, multiply the, na, the whole numbers. So, pagiging negative 2 times 6, negative 12 times 5 is negative 60. Tama? m cubed times m is meron kang 3 dito, meron kang 1 dito sa exponent. So, m to the 4 m to the 4th, and then n times n to the 4th is n to the 5th. Kasi may 1 ka dito, tapos may 4 ka dito. Okay? Napakadali lang, di ba? Number 5. Medyo kakaiba tong given na to. 6 to the... 6k to the x times... 3 m k to the y. 6 times 3 is, naman natin yung number 18. And then, walang kasama yung m. Then, k to the x times k to the y, which is k to the x plus y. Parehong base, ang exponent is x and y, so we add. So, usually, pag gumagawa ng 
I'm oh, sorry, pag nagsusulat ng expressions, usually in-alphabetize nila yan. Gaya nito, MN, MN, AB. Pero not necessarily. No? Hindi naman siya required. Basta nandun lahat ng expression. So, ito, pwede natin isulat as equals 18k to the x plus y. Then, M. Okay? Yun yung pinaka usually na makikita sa libro but hindi siya required. Okay, so I think um, uh, yan na yung mga examples. Of course, by the way, kung fraction naman yung yung number dito, kung kunwari, one-fifth uh, d squared times one-third c d to the fourth. Siyempre, multiply mo rin yung fraction. Ano? Kung decimal yan, decimal din. So, one-third times one-half is one third times one half is one over six, and then c, and then d, d to the fourth, chaka d squared. This is d to the fourth, mga dumong ala kaya no. This is d to the fourth. So c, and then d to the two plus four is six. One six. Ah, uh, one six. Ah. Uh, CD raised to 6. Okay? So, I think sapat na yan, ano, para kayo ay uh, makapag-survive dito sa load exponent number 1. See you in the next tutorial. Maraming salamat.